Hello everyone, this is Paul with High Tech Legion and today we're going to be taking a look at the Asus P8 P67 WS Revolution motherboard. This is one of the newest uh, motherboards from Asus. It is an LGA 1155 socket and it is built for the second generation core core processors from Intel. It has a P67 chipset. As you can see, the box is not as nor we're normally used to seeing from Asus. It is actually a gloss box, box instead of a flat box, uh, f meaning flat uh, surface. When you open up the flap here, it shows you the features that the box comes with and some of Asus's uh, technologies. If we flip the box over, we'll see that it shows a picture of the motherboard and some more specifications of the motherboard. This is actually a slip cover. The motherboard box is inside and it is actually a duplicate of what the outside slip cover is. Opening up the box, we can see that we get our accessories. First we'll take a look at the user's guide and inside that user's guide is your driver CD. We also have an I.O. plate. This is a, an extra external USB connector with SATA. And we have a serial adapter. Opening up the next piece of uh, equipment, this is actually our debug unit. It also has a power and a reset button on it. There are also connectors to make it easier to plug into your case for your power, your power switch, your reset switch, your hard drive, etc. And then we have a triple SLI bridge. Try SLI. Crossfire bridge. And a numerous assortment of SATA cables and a Molex 2 SATA. Lifting up the covering reveals the motherboard which is in an anti-static bag. I'm just going to go over some of the basic things on the board. You can read about the technologies in our technology section. But as you can see this is the new 1155 socket and this is the P67 chipset. We have some nice heat sinks over the Mopset, PWM, Southbridge. This board does take up to four DDR3 RAM sticks. On this side, if we turn the board over, You'll see a 24-pin connector and an extra, an extra power connector for uh, if you're using Tri-SLI or Crossfire X. SATA 6 connectors. SATA 6 is native to the board now. On the bottom, we have our numerous connectors for your external case, as in your external USB, etc. As you can see, it supports triple SLI or Crossfire X. On this end, we have our sound and our external ports. Sound, USB 3.0, dual LAN, eSATA, USB 2, optical for sound, RCA, in and out, of course, PS2 and some more USB. 
On this end down here we have a 4 pin PWM for the uh, C CPU fan and then an 8 pin power connector. Since this board is uh, capable of running Tri SLI, it has the NF200 chipset in it, which enables you to run 16x with at least one card, so you get full bandwidth out of one card, and the others will run it at 8x. This concludes our quick look at the Asus P867WS Revolution motherboard.